Knitting 101 How to Knit the Purl Stitch for Beginners For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. There are two basic types of stitches that make up the majority of all knitting patterns. The first that we've already covered is the knit stitch. And when we combine the knit stitch row after row, we create garter stitch. The second is the purl stitch. And this is very similar to the knit stitch, but it's literally knitting backwards. So we're going to work the stitch in the reverse order that we would the knit stitch. So let me show you how we're going to do that. We're going to take our working needle for step one and we're going to insert it purlwise. So before we went in this direction going facing with the point of our main needle, now we're going to go the opposite direction of the point of our main needle. And again we're going to go through the front leg of our stitch. So now we're still making an X, but we can see that we have gone the opposite direction and we are also switched places for our needle. So the working needle is on top and the main needle is on the bottom. So you can see how this is a little bit reversed. So for step two, we're going to again pinch these two needles together and then we are going to take our working yarn and wrap the yarn around our working needle again, but we're going to go over the top and around the back, again going in between the two needles. Now for step three, we are going to take our working needle and we are going to now push rather than pull the working yarn through the stitch. So again, I'm going to keep my tension against the main needle with my working needle creating friction to pull or push rather the working yarn through the stitch. So we can see now that we've pushed it through and for step four we are again going to pull the stitch off of our main needle and that will transfer the stitch to our working needle. So let's do that again. We're going to take the working needle go in purlwise so the points are facing opposite of each other. We want to make sure that the point is on top. The working needle is on top of the main needle. Then we're going to take our working yarn and we are going to wrap it around the working needle. So the needle that's on top here. And again we are going to push the yarn through. So if we can see here I'm pushing the working yarn through the stitch like so and then we'll pull the stitch off of our main needle. So again, let's do that one more time. We're going to take our needle and go in purlwise. We'll hold the needles together, wrap the yarn over. Now we want to make sure that we go over and not under, okay? Because going under will actually twist the stitch around, which is easy to fix, but it might trip you up if you're just starting out. So we want to make sure we go over and in between the two needles. Okay, then we're going to pull the yarn through. So let's see if we can see from this angle. We're pushing the yarn through the stitch, right, like so, and then we're pulling the stitch off of the main needle. All right, so we're going to practice this by doing each stitch in our row with the purl stitch. And it's okay if you go slow. This one's a little bit more difficult to wrap your head around, but with the right amount of practice, you'll have it down in no time. And that's how we knit the purl stitch. Want more New Stitch Today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.